Hello. Welcome to London. My name's Jim Harvey, and I help my clients communicate their messages more powerfully. I've been working with Prezi for over four years now and have moved in my love affair with the tool from being passionate but unconvinced because it was flaky and shaky and didn't work sometimes when you needed it to, to being an advocate of this software program. But in reality, I don't just use Prezi. I use both PowerPoint and Prezi for the hundreds of presentations that we design every year for ourselves and for our clients to use. As part of that work, I often get asked which PowerPoint or Prezi is the better tool? It's a hard question to answer because they're such different animals and choosing one over the other doesn't really do either of them justice. I liken PowerPoint to a reliable saloon car. Their designs are never groundbreaking, they're practical, and the saloon car and PowerPoint are both reliable and pretty foolproof these days. You'd use it if your life depended upon it. If PowerPoint is the reliable saloon car, then Prezi is that sexy red sports car. The kind of car that makes the journey wherever you're going an experience because you've got the wind in your hair and the sun on your face. It's not just a way to get from A to B. Prezi isn't designed simply to provide information but to help you make presentations more visually exciting and engaging. But when you're considering which to use for your next presentation, remember this. They're both just tools, aren't they? Whichever you choose, it'll only add value to your presentation if it helps you to tell your story. If your story's rubbish, neither of them will help you. But if your story is strong and you want to express complex ideas simply and link to your key message with a memorable visual, they will help you. Both PowerPoint and Prezi can help you to achieve these key aims of your presentation. So which should you use? Of course, it depends on the circumstances. PowerPoint is a great tool for telling linear stories. You can use pictures to represent the main elements of your story. You can use smart art and graphs to structure your information like here. And you can turn your ideas into memorable visuals. PowerPoint has been designed specifically to meet all of the needs of the average business presenter. I really like it. And the fact that many people dislike it has much more to do with its overuse and the misuse of the tool by rubbish presenters than any faults actually in the tool itself. That's PowerPoint. So what is Prezi? And what difference can Prezi make to your presentations? Prezi is a whole new take on the concept of visual aids. It lets you shake off your PowerPoint shackles and think more visually, boundlessly and organically about presentations that you give. Instead of slides, and here's a video playing in the background, Prezi gives you an unlimited canvas on which to lay your ideas out for the world to see. Prezi lets you seamlessly integrate videos, animations, pictures, sounds and text. It doesn't have bullet points. Well, it does, but more of that later. And I'll let you decide whether that's good or bad. But there aren't the same integrated tools inside Prezi for doing what PowerPoint can do, graphs and flowcharts. Other kinds of images have to be created outside of Prezi and brought in. So all of that stuff which we used to in PowerPoint, you don't get with Prezi. But Prezi is a visual tool more than a technical tool. You can imitate a PowerPoint by exploring ideas as a linear story like we've done here. And with Prezi, you can visually show the relationships between ideas and make your whole presentation work together. Or 
you can transform the way that you present those ideas. So you can put images at the heart of your presentation and be more creative in the way that you use them to tell the stories. Prezi's 3D feature, shown beautifully here, can make images come alive. And the zoom function lets you emphasize and explore ideas smoothly and naturally, as here. So, if you want to zoom in for emphasis, you can. And if you want more detail, it's really easy to zoom in again. And once you're in, you can then pan to expand on those ideas. But beware, too much panning, too much zoomed panning, is what makes audiences feel sick and lose track. And whenever I talk to people about Prezi, often they'll say, oh yeah, that's the software that makes you want to vomit, isn't it? Well, it is if there's too much zooming and panning. It will lose your audience. So, just get into the habit of zoom in for emphasis, pan for detail, and as here, zoom out before you move on to your next major point. So, which should you use, PowerPoint or Prezi? Well, it depends on the presentation. If you have limited time and you need to display ideas, facts and figures in a simple way, I'd stick with PowerPoint. But if you want something more, if you've got a pitch to do or a big presentation to make, an interactive experience or a bit of wow factor, it's worth giving Prezi a try. Here's my advice to you. It's the advice that we follow in our business. Why not develop skills in both PowerPoint and Prezi? Then you can assess the purpose, the audience, and the context of each presentation and choose the tool which will do the job best. Why not have a saloon car for weekdays and a sexy red sports car for high days, weekends, and holidays? So, here's how I and my great team can help you stand out from the crowd when you want to make a fantastic impression. Firstly, there's my Prezi for Professionals ebook, which provides hundreds of tips for creating engaging, persuasive presentations in Prezi. You can click the link below this video to find out a little bit more about that. And then, we also provide training and coaching to individuals and teams from global, European, and FTSE 100 companies. And more and more of them have rung us up over the past year to find out how they can use Prezi to stand out from their competitive crowd. To find out how you can stand out and how we can help you present more effectively and more powerfully, or even for help designing your next Prezi. Just get in touch. Send us an email, pick up the phone. We'd love to hear from you. So, thank you for listening. Have a great day, and we hope to meet you soon.